Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $96,548.24. In the past year I am up $38,527.83. Year to date for the year 2024 I am up $9,463.78. Today was a green day for me. As you can see, during the day, I was up $3,559.35, and after hours, I am up another $244.39. So, made close to $4,000 today. Very happy about that. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $200 covered calls. These expired June 21st. Total return $684. I'm selling Disney $130 covered calls. These expired June 21st. Total return, I am down $39. I'm selling Robinhood $16 covered calls. These expired June 21st. Total return, I am down $24. I'm selling LUV $30 covered calls. These expired June 21st. Total return, $685. I'm selling PayPal, $65 covered calls. These expired June 21st. Total return, I am down $130. I'm selling SoFi, $10 covered calls. These expired June 21st. Total return, $1,080. I'm selling Verizon $39 covered calls. These expired June 21st. Total return $116. I'm selling Google $180 covered call. This expires July 19. Total return $232. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $184.74. My average cost, $98.95. Total return, $25,740.86. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $6.99. My average cost, $5.62. Total return, $8,200.80 I have 300 shares of Disney Disney is at $112.83 My average cost $60 Total return $15,849 I have 1,000 shares of Robinhood Robinhood is at $17.82 my average cost, $17.53. Total return, $295. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $166.67. My average cost, $142.48. Total return, $2,419. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $66.86. My average cost, $57.70. Total return, $1,832.44. I have 500 shares of Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines is at $26.38. My average cost, $28.03. Total return, $825. I have 200 shares of Verizon. Verizon is at $38.97. My average cost, $39.31. Total return, I am down $67.82. This is a margin account. My margin total is $110,172.45. My margin used is $97,000. 
which leaves me with $12,185.02 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $48,291.28. That's this green buffer right here before I hit my margin call. My annual interest rate is 8%. The daily interest that I'm paying is $22.37. Not much to report today other than the fact that I'm very green today, made almost $4,000, so I'm very happy. But I haven't made any changes to my portfolio. It's the same as before. I'm just sitting back and waiting for time to pass. A bunch of my covered calls expire on the same day, June 21st. That's about a month and a half from now. So I'm going to wait until then and then see what happens. Now. I want to give you guys an example of how the covered calls work over time by going to the simulate my returns. So for example, if we look at Amazon $200 covered call expiring on June 21st, if I click on simulate my returns, it's going to bring up this chart. And uh, down here, I choose the price. So let's say that Amazon stays at $184.60. We get to see what the returns look like over time. That's what this graph shows. So assuming that Amazon stays at $184.60, over time, you can see the returns. So May 3rd, May 5th, May 29th, June. And then when we get to the expiration date, which is June 21st, my returns will be $1,308 at expiration. Assuming that Amazon stays at $184.60, I'm going to get $1,308 in returns from this covered call. Let's look at another example. So for example, um, let's look at uh, Google. So Google $180 covered call expiring on July 19th. If I click on simulate my returns, so again, down here is the price of Google stock. So assuming that Google stays at $166.67, we can see the returns over time. So as time passes, May 20th, May 20, then June, and then we get to July, and then at expiration, July 19th, the returns $554. Assuming that Google stays at $166.67, I'm going to get $554 in returns at expiration. So it's a neat little feature. You get to see how the returns look like over time, assuming that the stock stays at a certain price. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this portfolio update. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I'll be making more updates, so if you want to see more, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Bye.